Welcome to my custom interloper run. I'm Nifo29, and here's what's in our backpack. We're a little underweight. Um, I think that's primarily water that's weighing us down. Clothing could use some repairs, but we'll see. Oh, I guess the, the meat would be weighing us down. That's what we got there and there. And we are day 79, and here's our skills. Uh, mending is about to get to four. Um, and now this water should all be good. Just be left alone. Uh, that one piece of meat was 0.3. I'm going to take that. And we'll just drink up. Helps a wee bit. Okay, we need uh, one set of wires and five scrap metal. But we haven't checked any of the houses. And there is neither of those in there. So before I go ripping up any, uh, any buckets, we're going to go see if we can find anything. Hmm. So we have a battery, we have three fuses. I'm going to use a lantern and one wire all up at the uh, transmitter. This will come in handy. Nice. Uh, you know what, I'm actually going to save that for the houses. Should it? Ooh. I think I can use this. Hello. Shouldn't really need a lantern in here. I got this one. Can't get into those drawers. You killed a moose and bleak with a long shot with the curators, got you to level five rifles. Felt real proud of the shot. And then it was ruined by a large pack of timber wolves. Fudged a lot of shots and got a few hits from a high to a low. And I, I don't know. I, the curators, I think, is sketchy on timber wolves. I think any of the rifles. I mean, if that's what you had there. I could use this. I thought I saw a bullet shell down there. I think it's just the leg of the locker. But yeah, the Timberwolves can mess you up. Better to have this than leave it behind. Of course it is, Will. You don't leave coffee behind. Uh, you need money. Or nothing basically worth the same. All right, here we go. Oh, wow. One. <laughs> oh, wow. One. 
155. And there. Hope I can still eat this. Ooh. Hello. I need to drop something. So many boxes. That's everything in here. We'll drop uh, you. Um, I think I'll keep those mitts, even though they need to be repaired. Yeah. This way and come around and do those ones. Oh, we got one or two this way. We'll go up on that house on the hill as well. And let's go see this guy. I think it's just wood. Oh, that's a deer. Pretty close. I can get a deer real close. Yeah. Where are you? Hey, Talon. Welcome in. Let's see if I can get this deer. Oh, it's a doe. I was hoping it was the buck. Could end up being useful. Well, we'll take that because if we're short on scrap metal, it'll break down relatively quick. There's your glasses. All right, let's go in the houses. I didn't notice if this one was boarded up. I think it is. Yeah. And double check, yeah. I think somebody has suggested, like, why can't you pry the boards off of the, the boarded up? And I think that's a good, uh, a good idea. Um, do we have lantern fuel? No. Canucks? <laughs> you can't spell Canucks? You're gonna lose your citizenship card, bud. <laughs> yeah, that's how it's spelled. Uh, 
Oh, look at you. I, I can't leave that behind. Come on. I'm just grabbing uh, any loose items I see. Real quick. Um, I should have actually checked in here. What is that? Is that a flashlight? That'll come in handy. Eh. Nothing. Wait, we have cards? What do you mean we have cards? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I, got, I already forgot what I had said. Starting to weigh me down. I might drop the flashlight. I don't need it. Um, I think it takes forever to break it down. An hour for one, yeah. We'll never use it. Oops. One seventy nine. I thought there was, I guess not. I thought there was, I'm going to eat um, a medical box in there, but I guess there's not. And I'm going to drink and do what I can just to keep the weight down. I got you, right? Yep. Yeah. I got you. What have we here? Uh, we don't need no stinking matches. What is that? Oh. How long are you? 45 minutes for two. Well, I think we can uh, tear down something else. All this gear is slowing me down. No, the fire log is actually pretty good, right? You get two hours, I think it is, of burn time on it. It's just so heavy. Alright, I got everything in here. Are you the same? Oh, you're not. I'm sure we'll find scrap metal that I don't have to break down. Um, you know what? We'll go to the house up the hill. And then we'll come back, go to Grey Mother's. Oh boy. It's already midday. Uh, we'll drop off a bunch of weight. Hello, tasty sapling. And then we'll continue with the rest of the houses. Um, I'm going to leave that for now. Save the bunnies. And for anyone that watched yesterday and saw me shoot at that wolf over there, um, I rewatched that and what I thought was blood splatter. Oh, hey, tasty. What I thought was blood splatter was actually the smoke coming out of the end of the rifle. So I did, in fact, miss. I did not miss that time. I got him. Alright, we'll come out for these saplings after. I just don't want to be too, too, too overweight. <laughs> Leave 
saving the saplings? Who are you? I am I. See, that's 15 minutes, but you only get one. You're 45 for two. You're not worth it. Let's go get, uh, grab those saplings and get out of here. Oh, and toasters. Toasters are easy to break down, aren't they? There was leather on the shelf. I didn't see no leather. Oh, damn, there is. As usual, good eye, Murd. We got sent, yeah, we have one bar. I'm gonna pull that out. I think I'm hearing footsteps, but I don't know. Might just be the trees rustling. I think it is just the trees. Okay, we'll drop off this weight, and then we'll come back out. Another tasty sapling. What are we at? Wow. We're at 57 kilograms already. I kind of want to just leave the rifle behind right now because it's a lot of weight to try to be looting. Um. I also could probably leave a lot of this water and meat. I think you all want me to take the rifle though, so I'll continue to take it. Man, I don't even know if we're going to repair this tower tonight or today. I still have several houses to loot and probably at least a couple of items to break down. At least an hour's worth. And I think that's a little far to be going basically from up there straight to HRV. You have a candy bar? No. gonna do we're gonna do that and you know what I'm just gonna drop it all all right fire log go there y'all can go there and what else do we have we have those gloves Um, you know what? You can go right there for now. Uh, we have an extra pry bar. How long are you? 
30 minutes for two, that's pretty much average. Uh, saplings. They're going to be underneath this uh, hide. You're cured now. What is our weight now? 40. Uh, I can probably drop the book. Oh, potatoes and such. I'll keep the candy bar. Just do that. Give me the oil. Good enough. What's our 34? That should be okay. When you went to lead bleak, you were at 75 kilograms. When you got back to your main base, you'll drop your rifles organized and go get all the loot left at Ravine. Then you'll need to decide Coastal Highway first or Black Rock. Lean into Black Rock for the bunker. I like Coastal. I missed you. Oh, I should have looked if I had lantern fuel. I don't know. I don't think I do have lantern fuel. Yes, I'm taking the books. No, I'm not picking up the papers. Any loose items? No. What is... Oh, how long are you? Toaster is 15 minutes for one. Okay. I don't need to pick that up. Shut you down. Oh, that's weird. It was like... I think I can use this. Oh, that's perfect. It was open. But still let me search it. Search the oven, even though the prompt came up, I can search it. Oh, okay. Or even though it's open, the prompt came up. 199. I actually didn't notice that, Mert. It amuses you when you can search. Oh, that's so weird. Wonder if this is. Oh, dude. <laughs> oh no. The big old chunk of fish. Hey, it's got vitamin C though. I wonder how many times I've missed searching this. You're gonna have to remember that. All right, let's do the top ones first. Hope nobody needs this anymore. More coffee. Funny you can't search these ones. Like you can with the oven. 
Although you can look behind it. Pretty sure I'm not going to find any scrap metal in these, but... I just don't want to have to think, oh, I have to go to that place. Oh, wow. Even the freezer. weird in there. You just looked at how long until you do your thing and it's 29 minutes. Nice. Um, do I really need my lantern? Another skelet. Okay, let's do the uppers first. My thinking is that you can miss the uppers if you do the lowers first, but it's pretty hard to miss the lowers. Because they're just in your face. I don't know, I might be wrong. Maybe I'm making excuses for that time I missed all the uppers. You know what else is neat? 199 again. This is a leap year, Murd. So we have 29 days in February. Uh, you're not going to make me break down all these things, are you? Like. Did I miss the microwave? We can't miss the microwave. There might be coffee or better yet, herbal tea. Oh. Best be prepared for anything. <laughs> Thanks, Murd. Y'all are broken. Loose items. And microwave and then everything else. I'm going to open this one just so I don't have to come back in here because it doesn't let me stand very easily. One eighty three. Wow, these toilets. I'm not sure I can carry much more. I'm not going to complain about a lot of water, though. What are we at now? 553. This stuff will come in 
handy. Don't need that sweater. I don't need that sweater either. I'll leave them at the doorway though. Give me some tea. Is it really going to make me break down these things to get my scrap metal? That's leather. I can't leave that. I'd rather die in my run with too much leather than... Oh, you can do that one too. Than lose an item because I didn't have enough. Seventy-eight could end up being useful. The will was going to start griping as soon as we got that water. Seems common and. Mountain Town for open containers to be searchable. I don't mind it. I think it's kind of neat, to be honest. It's a little weird, but I mean, it's still neat. Whoops. I want this to go somewhere. Give me a basement. More leather. Yeah, it does. It, the, the oddness of it makes it kind of fun, right? It's kind of... I put it up there with the, uh, the big birch bark in Ash Canyon. It, it's something that doesn't need to be dealt with if it's not supposed to be happening. Just leave it as is. Go do something more important. Then one day when you're bored and you're like, hey, the game seems to be perfect. Okay, let's go do these meaningless stuff. Fix them up. Alright, well, that's... Imagine if you can click on that and get in. Uh, did we go in here? Oh, we gotta go to the plane crash, too. Uh, oh, no, we haven't been in here. Uh, we should find some scrap metal up to the, the crash site. Another toaster. Yeah, 
Yes, and get the special flask. That's right. I think we have three of them so far, right? Sneaky. 166. Oh. <laughs> I noticed that they, you know, they... be able to carry this load for much longer. They started at the same, like, 199, but then they, they got slower, right? Slower. They got lower. 180, 170, so I figured 160. But it skipped the 60s. We break down the truck. How bad's our weight? 55. I'm lost. And this one should be the last one. Oh, maybe there'll be some scrap metal in here. That's 45. You think I would remember that, right? 45 minutes for two. That's something. Nope. How long is a metal shelf? You get eight for three hours, so that's way too long. Wow. Oh, and you can't even break down those boards that are up top. Not that I want to, but there's some places where you can, so... Alright, let's go drop some weight. We'll make our way to the crash site. We still have lots of uh, alertness. And I'm gonna drop... You know what? Take that half. Let's do that. I might start leaving my water outside. Just because it's easier to see. Oh, did I actually have two pieces? What did I drop? I thought I dropped you. This is clothing that's kind of important in a way. I mean, maybe it's leather, maybe it's something I want to take. Whole lot of skillets. We turn this. Uh, again with the potatoes. Carrot. 
Salt can go there. Cooking oil goes right up there. Broth is kind of messed up by that plate. I don't care how it looks. Get it all up here. Come on. And some oats can go there. I don't care. It's not perfect. Um, cans. And what do we have? I'll drop you. I should probably drop the travel. I don't need it. Not here anyway. Oh, six bucks. There we go. That should help. Uh, let's eat. And we'll drink. And now we'll go. Yeah, if we take out the bear at the bridge, we'll want the sled out there for sure. I, I just meant like to go up here though. To the crash site. Um... You know what? I'm a little disappointed. We didn't find any wires either. I still need one wire. Because we only got one. I don't even know if I can find wires out this way. Um, and I don't know if they had hidden any around here. Yeah, the box just has the stuff that I put in it. So that's, I, I still need five scrap metal and one more wire. And I don't have any of that. So I'm hoping to find a couple of scrap metal at least out here by the crash site. But I really don't know that there's any wires. Uh, we might have to go... that away. We got that lockbox number four by the bear bridge. Look at all the coal. Feels like night is coming. I just I, I just leave everything there do it all at one time 
I think that started because I did do what you're suggesting, right? Like, uh, or what you're pointing out where I repaired what I could and I left and then we got an Aurora that night anyways. And we kind of wondered like, Hmm, is it just interacting with it? That gives you the Aurora as well. Hello. So I just leave everything there. actually take wires out of this when I was here last time? I didn't loot anywhere though. Well, I guess maybe Grey Mothers. Oh no, that might be a problem. a problem or I don't recall taking wires out but I also was probably not really paying any attention because the signal void was the last thing on my mind I probably took scrap metal out too We still have the church. Um, I don't believe I went into the church. It's entirely possible maybe if I was cold that I might have. But I don't look at all the bunnies. all. Oh, you're the one. You're the chosen one. Come on, miss that rock. Oh, you bugger. Where are you going? You know what? Why don't we save the bunny? Tried being shady, it didn't work. I'm going on this side because I think. I think there was a sapling, but maybe I'm wrong. That is the curator's rifle. It's the one that's good for long shots. This is the one we're forced to use right now until it misfires. Cannot repair it. Oh yeah, you know what? We just bypass all this and get it on our way back.
Right. Yeah, Murd loves this. I I like the Vaughn's rifle. If I had to choose one rifle to take, I would take the Vaughn's. Get off of there, damn it. Uh, where? Oh, I remember where I found. Oh, hey. Now yeah, we're cooking with gas. Literally. I remember I found it over here. Last time. Oh no. I don't see it. Um, and I have to admit, I don't have a clue where it would be. Unless maybe it's up by the other part of the crash. Um, it's not in. Okay, I thought I was stuck. It's not in there. Well, we gotta go and hope it's up at the other one. It's nighttime too. Glass can be in a few areas around there. So it can be in the cave by the fire, which we didn't see it there. It can be out the cave on the left. That's where I found it last time. And I believe in that, uh, I guess you call it a pontoon. That piece that I was kind of stuck in, I've seen it in there, too. But I haven't seen it by this part of the plane. Um, I do remember watching somebody else's stream and people were saying, Oh, it's around the plane, it's around the plane, but... It might be in one of the crates that you break down. Down there. Do you know that? Or are you just guessing? Because if you know that, it might be. I might have to go down there and check. What have we here? Look at you. Hmm. Oh. I could use this. Look what we found. Found it. Apparently it can be up by this one. Uh, wasn't there a piece of floating wood? That wasn't the floating wood, was it? thought it was floating higher than that. Huh? Maybe. Whatever. It's one chunk of wood. We got to get home.
So we now have four of the flasks. Let's go this way this time. Oh, right, right, right. Stretch, damn it. Bird's yelling at me. There you go. Sorry, I forgot. My bad. My bad. Um, I'm gonna go around this. I don't know why. <laughs> Good Canadian. <laughs> Isn't there usually a fire pit over here? Or is it that I made one of one time? Hey coach, welcome in. How you doing today, bud? I'm not going to run because I think our alertness is right where it needs to be. But we do have that problem. We don't have any scrap metal and we are missing one set of wires. You're good today? Good. You know what? Did we never check the bunker out here, did we? Yes, we did. Didn't we? I don't remember. Hey, Oliver. Welcome in. That stretch was pathetic. Oh, we didn't check the bunker here. Well, maybe we'll get lucky, but even if it's full though, like what are the odds that it would have wires, right? All right. So it's this one, Blackrock and Bleak that we still have. How nice would it be if it was this one? I don't even know if I can find wires at the uh, at the church. We have a memento at the church. We have the memento by the bear bridge. Um, I don't think you ever find wires in the cars. music which is strange that's where the wire should be right when you open the hood should be a chance of a battery but also a chance of wires uh, I don't remember also I think I have the gas oh my I think I have the gas station to check as well. Uh, what do I have for food? 
I want to eat you because I hate putting you on the ground. I'm going to eat you. And we'll grab a chunk of meat. And one for breakfast. Something's got to go. If I don't rest soon, I'm going to faint. Um... Let's do that. Uh, where you you gotta go somewhere where we can not forget you. I have an extra aviator cap. Don't need that. Don't need that other bedroll. I usually always put this over kind of right there-ish. Bedroll can go by this chair. Both of them are going to get broken down. You know what? Can I do it without a hatchet? An hour? Okay. I forgot. I have two hatchets. I thought it was confusing why I couldn't break it down with my hands. But I get it. Uh, I think I only have one of everything there. Yeah, let's do that. Two chunks of wood. And go in the kitchen as well as those four pieces you made a note about the flats thank you I don't know why those are over there I was probably trying to keep them separate and now I don't really care. And I have too much coal. Alright, I'll drink up and go to bed. Oliver wants coffee time, alright. A second here. Let's see if I can pull this off. There you go. That was a good one. <laughs> I'm patting my own self on the back there. I need something to drink, and soon. I knew that one was a good one, so I just, I'm like, I'm keeping this going. <laughs> I actually shut it down early because I thought, I can't go forever. Uh, that sounds like a blizzard. If that's a blizzard, we're just going to break down some stuff in here. Yep. Break out the hacksaw. Uh, uh, is there a toaster in here? Oh. However, did I miss you? That's not annoying, is it? Oh, there is. Oh. <laughs> I got excited. It wasn't. Alright. Uh, upstairs. Oh, 
There's a fail. So we have one. Uh, that pry bar is one or is it two? Is it half hour for two? Or was it 15 minutes for one? work on metal first. Is there a lamp? Not, there it is. Oh, and you're not the kind that I can break down. There's two. What kind of house doesn't have a toaster? Nah. <laughs> I'm not going to break that down. Oh, where did I put it? It was right there. Alright, we need one more. But we still need wires. Um, what are you at? 42... You're 73, you're not an issue. Uh, I have an extra book that I don't need. You can do that. Uh, I've never really gone around looking for something to break down in a house. Now is as good a time as ever to... The flashlight takes too long. I think the flashlight takes too long for what you get out of it. Uh, where are you, 96? You know what? We don't need to keep water in here. I'm wasting time for a blizzard, but the, I could also do repairs instead. Um, we're going to go to the church. Yeah, we're going to go to the church and we're going to go to the bear bridge and get that memento. Hopefully get a shot on the bear. Hopefully not get jumped by the bear again. And we'll check out the bunker. And... Oh boy. I hope there's wires. I hope there's wires. In this church. Did I check these cars? No. Check them now. It's actually a pretty nice day. It's a nice warm day.
I like when you uh, gain temperature inside of a vehicle. You think there's going to be wires at the gas station and it's more likely than at the church? It's possible. We'll grab this car and then we'll go in. There's something on the seat, I think. Oh, maybe not. I thought I saw something when I was in the back. Is it food or? It's debatable, Will. That's kind of weird. In that way, book. Where's the good stuff? <laughs> Matches and drugs. I'm not going to take you. just need one set of wires. Sounds horrible outside. <laughs> well, I guess it is horrible. It's still warm though. I mean, it's only minus eight. What about one of the construction houses? What's a construction house? I'm not sure what that is. Do you mean the trailers? I'm not going to try that. Oh, the ones that are basically the junk ones. Um, I don't know that you can actually get inside any of those. And I think I stopped off in that trailer. I might, I, you know what, it might be smart to go have a look. Just to be sure. You can, that's how you know they can have wires in them. But can you in, in these ones though? Because I know in some, some regions like Blackrock, uh, you can wander around inside. <laughs> I, I know what you're saying, Oliver. You explained it well. Mm 
but I'm not aware of any broken down buildings in this region where you can actually walk through them. Alright. I want to go check out this trailer before we carry on. There was a wolf, and I believe he was up here, wasn't he? Yep. Uh, where is a good spot? You know what? There isn't a good spot around here. It's all lumpy. Oh, the houses that are empty with crates. I always call those like a, a shop. Wow, that guy was going around outside. Okay, yeah, we've been in here. Yeah, I don't need scrap metal. But... We can have another look for wires. Uh, let's eat. I'm gonna drink that soda as well. Perfect. Now, Murd was thinking that when I was here before, I found wires and I took them out. And they're probably at the camp office. But I'm trying to remember. I think the only thing I ever actually searched here was Gray Mothers. You think there might be a moose? <laughs> That's where you should be able to get the wires from, Coach. Where are you? Oh! Oh! Well, lucky for him, we're not here to play with a moose. We got business to tend to. We take him out that burns another day. Look at him all over there. He's all innocent. Seriously? I honestly have no clue on these sites where I'm supposed to be aiming. That's right, he's only up because he knows I won't touch him. It'd be funny if that gunshot made him charge.
They're appalling sights, hard to use. Oh, son of a big old bee. Hey, Lady Q, welcome in. Good to see you, and thank you so much for the bits. I appreciate it. You came in just in time to watch my uh, brutal aim. I am better than that. <laughs> uh, can one of you give Lady Q a shout out, please? Oops. I will hit him this time. Or I won't. Oh my god. Today might not be a good day. Oh, you're welcome, lady. This might not be a good day to play with that bear. Oh, free food. Go get her, boy. I really, th this rifle, I don't know what part of the site to line up with what. I'll get that car on the way back. It's always a good day to play with Mr. Bear. <laughs> yeah, well this time I'm not going to be stupid. This time I'm getting a shot off and I'm going to run into a vehicle and I'm just going to chill. And not think I can get a second. No, we're not playing with the damn moose. <laughs> yeah, I got a distress pistol. I just don't tend to pull it out too quickly. I'm, I'm, I'm getting to... Mm. I'm going to have to leave something behind. That way. Paranoid. You suggest the strip the flare I've had bad luck with the flare pistol though. I've had a couple of shots lately where I thought they were direct hits and the game said nah. Like, literally, my shot is from, like, here to the car sitting on the ground when the bear was, like, like, right in front of me. And so I don't, I mean, it's not like I don't trust the flare gun. It's It still scares them off. One of them I was right in his face. He was literally like a foot in front of me. And they're like, nope. Uh, the one that I did hit looked like it was about 10 feet away. Something like that. Elon wants a stretch. Yeah, right when... Where is the bear even? Yeah, let's do a stretch. I might have to fake this one. <laughs> Sorry. I had to fake that one for you. <laughs> Bears in the fog, I'm okay. Wasn't this truck where I died? Oh, there I saw him. I 
hit. That was a hit. Now we chill. He's still up. He will be bear six. Oh, wait. You have to be better. Yes, you're caught. <laughs> Lame. Come on, man. Let's drink. There we go. Bear down, bear down. Fuck a man. So now the question Do we go to the bunker? Or do we harvest the bear? I say that bear is so much so much safer when you got a rifle coach wants the bunker did I kill the bear with a dirty gun it's at 60% yet yeah. but we're not allowed to uh, clean it so gotta use it till it misfires What do you mean your sound alerts don't play? Hope nobody needs this anymore. Oh, 82. We don't need you. Oh no, that's not good. I apologize. I don't know why it didn't work. Oh, yeah. I don't know why that didn't work. I hope so. And thank you for the bits. I am very sorry that that didn't work. I don't know what's going on. I'm logged into all of the uh, proper programs. I always make sure I log into them every day, make sure that they are good. But even when I think they're good, they're not good. Hey, Merd. Let's go out here and see if it does anything. Kidding. <laughs> All right, Lady Q, thank you so much for coming by. Good to see you. I haven't seen you in a long time. We usually run into each other somewhere. But thank you so much for the bits. I'm sorry that didn't play. And have a great day.
No, I didn't want to walk all the way there. That's the thing, though, right? I wanted to just pretend I was going to go there, but then not go there. Because I think the last time we were here and I, I said, hey, I wonder if this triggers anything. You said you say that every single time you come here. So I thought I'm just going to pretend this time. What is up ahead? Oh, it's a puppy. Stick. So we're going to go to the bunker. If it's empty, we're going to come back and get the bear. I believe that was coach's plan. Coach's thought makes sense. Ooh, that's a... It's a nice little spot to hide something in. Okay, nothing there. And coach, <laughs> yeah, coach doesn't care if this bunker's full. He's actually more worried or more so wondering if I'm going to get a Timberwolf bunker. We only got one more full, right? So if this one's full, no Timberwolf. We still have to go to those spots, so we still have to go to those bunkers. Even if we have three full ones already, we still have to go to the bunker just to say we were there. Black Rock would be good. I don't mind Black Rock bunker. I didn't miss it, did I? No. Oh wait, this isn't the one that you have to drop down first, is it? Or is it you drop down after the bunker? I think you drop down after, yeah. I know it. What do you all think? I'm just going to say full. I'm going to say full. What do you all say? Oliver says full. Murd says full. Oak says empty. Here we go. It is empty. Coach's negative thoughts prevail. You say it'll have one soda in it. <laughs> That'd be so funny if there was. I would be real happy if it had just like a wire. I doubt it. I'm out. Oh, my nose is itchy. Uh, there's absolutely nothing here, except for a chunk of metal. Yes, welcome to the big MT. That's okay, though. That's okay. I've had Timberwolf bunkers full before. You know what the sad thing is, though? I mean, coming out of there, aren't we pretty close to the, uh, to the gas station? Or is it roughly the same distance?
Did I miss that when I came in there last time? I didn't go in there to double check. I actually <laughs> accidentally went in there again. I'm trying to look at chat sometimes. Ooh, baby, baby. did I miss? <laughs> what do you mean, my dino? What happened, Oliver? They ruined your favorite emote? <laughs> Are you going to be okay? <laughs> Why is that your favorite emote? Why isn't it my heart 29? Just asking. <laughs> it's my favorite. funny well what is uh, temperature is five should I just take the whole works in one go two ten I'm gonna watch my food oh Oh no. Okay, it'll be fine. I just gotta remember cannot cancel. Also, cannot move. Let's do that. Thought I saw something up ahead. Oh, my cattails are in there. Damn it. I want all that. And we'll drink this. This is going to take forever. An hour and a half. It's so risky now to do this. I don't like how they changed. I said that before, though. But I don't like how they changed I if I can drop any of this gear. the micro-harvesting thing. I think it's an instance where you kind of messed everything up for everybody because a few people were doing something that you didn't like. Because now I don't know if I'm all that interested in harvesting the whole animal at one time. I hope they refine that a little bit. Are we going to have a night moose? Has anybody encountered their sled breaking while it was full? Like, 
And can you say like what happens? Green moose would be good. Oh, my horrible memory. Did I ever actually hit this wolf? Or is he still a thing? We better do that just in case. I do. I think that too. I think a green moose would be incredible. Oh, I did go in there? Oh, okay. Yeah, the wolf is about. How many times did I miss him? Like three, four? It's embarrassing. I said last time I wasn't going to miss him, and I missed him. <laughs> I did not miss that time. Oh, there's still another one up there. Smart guy is thinking you should go up there and get that wolf. I'm saying let's just go while he's running. Uh oh. He's still pretty far. I think we're going to go after this wolf and come up and around. Mark, I spends the night in the cave. You know what? That's not a terrible idea. I mean, we're pretty close to it. It is fairly late. But there's a deer right behind you. Why do you want me? That. See, you could have done good for both of us. Smart guy spends the night in the cave near the bear. Why? Why, why that one? I got cattails I can eat. I was thinking if that deer was going to run my way. Who is this smart guy you speak of? He's my alter ego. He's not very powerful though. His kung fu is weak. So that's where I was at. No other predators. Between me and the cave. Yeah, but I still have to get all this meat the gray mothers anyways yes I know it's safer to do that during the daytime but it doesn't stink when it's inside the, the sled all right I apologize for this we have no choice interland says we need vitamin C
13. <laughs> the smart guy I speak of is Murd. <laughs> he would have cooked part of it. I got meat. We're all safe. And now we're going to bed. That's true, it could have turned into a, an Aurora night with green wolves. I'm not terrified of the green wolves though. It's the green bears that bother me. And if it, if it was an Aurora, that moose may not have been an issue at all. I'm more afraid of that moose in regular time than I am in the regular or the Aurora wolves. But look at the bright side. We're this much closer to getting the meat. All the way to Grandmother's. Oh, hello. Look at those tasty saplings. You know what? I mean, provided one's aim is good. Can you see the moose from up here? I'm just going to say, like, I think it might take him a long time to get to us. And I might be able, am I approached? No, nope. there I am. I will be shocked. I did not hit him. I think I'm within range. I got to be within range. It's a rifle, damn it. I missed again. <laughs> Rabbits are like, I'm out of here. Some idiot up on the ledge there firing. Oh, good call. If I wasn't in range, I don't think he would have ran. I would love to hit him from this distance, though. I think that shot actually hit the top of the rocks. Oh, son of a... Scared the shite shot out of me. That damn dirty gun. It doesn't affect your aim, it just affects whether or not it might fire. I don't have a clue as to why I'm actually doing this. get up here or I have to get up on this side try this drop a casing or stick or something and crouch use the dot to aim first then aim and shoot so you're saying do that Really? That's how you learned to murder? You know what? I like this, though. We gotta be able to get up here.
Oh, we're safe. We don't have to drop anything. Oh, yes, I guess we do. Now we got a dot. It went away. <laughs> I'm too far. And it's hard to see. But I think I know where to aim is like that. That didn't work. How bad is this gun? 52. Yeah, I don't have a clue. Wow, that was only slightly messed up. Can I get on top of the root? The root? Y you can't stop once you started shooting at a moose you can't just be like eh, eh screw it you gotta continue right even if you've missed every shot Yeah, that's, that's a big, big, big deer. That rattled his hoofs. <laughs> I love the rabbits. Yeah, finally a hit. <laughs> that tree is going to block me. Get my flare gun ready, yeah. Damn it. That's not what I wanted to pick up. Can you get up this tree? You gotta be able to. Yeah, and that's the thing though, the, the flare gun won't kill him. It's a, it's a good way to scare him off, but... I think if I get to the top of this, we're... I mean, we're already safe, I think. And he's just like right there. Hey everybody, guess what? Got a moose, got a moose, will you do the fandango? Yeah, run, run, run! What do you mean that's not fair? That's totally fair. He outweighs us by like... 1800 pounds. Yeah, we're eating good tonight. We got to make a fire, though, so we can cook up some of this meat. The flare gun is a gun, and it should kill. They made a change, though, Darth. You used to be able to kill it, but not long ago, they made a change, and the, I think... Because the moose have always been different, right? The moose are the only animal that doesn't bleed out. You have to kill it. 
Whereas a bear, you can get a shot on a bear and just be in a safe location and wait for him to, to bleed out. Uh, even if it's a revolver shot, right? But the moose has always been, you have to kill it. So I think they decided, okay, you know what? No more flare gun kills on the moose. Hello. 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 Alright, we got meat here. So we'll just make a fire. Right there. Oh, I don't want that. I want that. And actually, Darth, this flare gun, there's a guy on YouTube that made a video showing how damaging this flare gun is. I think from 10 feet away, you can't even shoot this flare pistol through a piece of cardboard. So the fact that they allow it to kill an animal in this game is kind of outrageous. Let's do that just because they weigh a lot. And let's do that. Warming up. Oh. That's 57 minutes. You gotta go, Talon. Talon. Sorry. <laughs> Alright, thanks for coming by, bud. Have a great day or night. Wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Damn it. Let's do that. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Alright, we'll transfer this beautiful red meat. And... Get our belly dealt with. And drop that other piece. Wow, I'm I'm seriously embarrassed though with my shooting skills with this gun. It's starting to rival the revolvers. Yet I feel so confident when I'm using the the Bonds rifle. I don't get it. I just, I don't get how the sights work. That's true, that's why I made the challenge, because I haven't used the rifles and revolvers for, like, on a regular basis for a long time. Let's throw you, throw you, that should be, I think that might be alright. We got 40 minutes. I 
24, 45. I don't want to go over. Because I don't trust what the fire is going to actually burn to. The next weapon is the normal rifle. Oh, great. Look at that buck. It's just hanging out there. Alright, 12 minutes on the meat. 17 on... Oh, no! What else is in here? It's just meat. Is there even any wolves anywhere near us? Ah, uh, six until ready. Let's do that. Hour and a half. I'm gonna do it because I don't know how cold it really is. I still hover over that cancel button with fear that I might have to do that and lose everything I just tried harvesting. Um, how much have I got? You know what? It might be smarter. Um, uh, actually, you know what? It'd be smarter. Take all that. Take that. And get all those in there. Because I believe the guts work. Oh, wow. Are we that heavy? We're at 50. Drop that. Pull that out. Now pull it. Yeah, we got a 75 kilogram sled here, and we have 50 in our backpack. But wow, are we slow. Not only are we slow, we have a long way to walk. I think it's best to go this way. Yeah, when it's full and you're overweight, it's slow, but we're still moving. Yes, that's true. I mean... We have about 65 kilograms more than we would normally be able to carry and still move. Um, just don't be too steep, please. I think you are too steep, but I hope you're not. Alright, that's good. Okay, you know what? Because we have some scent, I want to see if I can eat and get rid of our scent. Or at least our displayed scent. Um, we may as well just drink that up and get rid of it. Okay, no more displayed scent. But yeah, with the meat and the guts, my thinking was like a piece of meat is one kilogram. The 12 guts are 1.2 kilograms, but they're 12 pieces. So making sure that the guts are what's inside the sled. 
I think is a smarter idea than having all the meat in there. And we still need a set of wires. Did I just... Yeah, I did. I need to go on this side. I think that hill up ahead is too steep, though. Guts add more stink anyway, don't they? I don't know exactly. I'm just thinking by pieces, right? I mean, two or three pieces of meat cause scent, but would take up three kilograms, whereas you got 12 pieces of uh, gut taking up 1.2 kilograms that are definitely giving you three bars. You think there's wires in the garage at the gas station? But do y'all remember, did we go in there? Like for some reason, oh no. No space. Oh, is it gonna, it's gonna, I'm not gonna be able to go down this. That's going to be too steep. This gear is starting to slow me down. Too steep. Friggin' well. Have taken the road. I didn't know if I can get over on that uh, that lumpy part. You know what? Saves me four kilograms. Oh, can I not get up here now? gonna be a bigger pain in the butt than I thought. I don't know why I thought I could climb up that. Too much stuff to carry. I'm only gonna no oh, man. There's still 43 kilograms in there. And I was, you know, I was thinking about just saying it out loud and, and Will's going to bust up one of his limbs each time. And of course, it's got to be the wrist. Self. The Napo School of Sled Driving is non-certified. Yes, coach. You're right. Oh, man. Murd can't stop laughing. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for feeling my pain. This better be entertaining, damn it. This pack is 
getting too heavy to carry. Uh, will it be a wrist again? Nope. Ankle. And remember, I, when we, once I get the sled down here, I only have like 400 pieces of uh, meat to pick up. I am not dropping that. I will drop you. And you. I can drop you. And you. You only need a 45 to get a license. Shush. Everybody. Isn't that rude to make fun of somebody these days? <laughs> oh, man. This, I, I mean, this is... I guess next time if I remember in this situation... Maybe I'll try a different route. I kind of didn't even think about this spot, to be honest. I was just thinking, oh, this is a shortcut. I always take this way, right? Too heavy. What's that? That's only 54. Shut up, Will. After what you've all been through. Now what are we going to break right about here? Nope. Oh, Will. Will, Will powers through it. I am surprised. Isn't it fun? The beauty is I don't have to move. I just have to pick up and turn. those um, right there that's good Now we gotta pick up all this crap. What was the actual weight in the travel? 7470. Uh well, we got some. Here comes the meat wagon, kids. Yes! It ain't a sled, it's a meat wagon. That's right, that's what it is. And it is heavy. Wow, it's gonna be nighttime before we're even there. Now the question is, are there any wolves? Wait, I'm going this way and we'll go around this. Sunset. It's gonna get a lot colder soon. Meat beacon.
That's the most raw meat you've ever seen in the long dark, coach. That's only one bear and one moose, though. We've done that before, haven't we? Wow, this is... <laughs> I don't like the end of this bridge, because if there's a wolf alive, he's going to come at us right on the edge. Oh, and I don't have you... Equipped. Okay. There's a wolf, and he took out a bunny to the right. That's a good thing. Now, I don't remember if I'm going to be able to get this sled up the hill to Grey Mothers. I, I, I assume I can because I remember the one time having the sled up there and full of meat and going outside to grab the meat and when I clicked to go into the sled a wolf barked and scared the hell out of me so I think we can pull it up the hill uh, so what I'm going to say though is I'm going to pull the sled up the hill and then we'll end the stream there. Um, off stream, I'm going to empty the sled. So you don't have to watch that. That's Nobody needs to see that. Wow, that wolf sounds close. And how do you like me now? How you like me now? Yeah, sit down, wolf, right? Yeah, I heard that last little sound that he made. Like, wow, he sounds really close. <laughs> Okay. So, for those of you on YouTube, I thank you for watching, and I will see you tomorrow.